What instructions do you have for me? The clothes will be delivered soon. Please handle that for me. Do you think you can do it? <laughs> yes, madam. I'll do a good job. Go make the preparations. And check several times. It must go smoothly. <laughs> yes, madam. <sighs> and thank you for this chance. I'm glad the past is behind us. Please get up. Don't worry. Work hard. Yes, madam. Ling Long. Yes? Find two reliable maids to help her. Why? Do you think she... Keep an eye on her, and if she tries something, then stop her. Mm. I'm here to give the spring outfits to you. The clothes are for Zhao Yang Hall. Keep them safe. And Madame Lu has instructed that the premium gauze must be used for the lining worn by the maids. You must have the best outfits, right? Since you all wait on His Majesty. Go inside. <laughs> Your Highness, it's nice to see you. <gasps> it's you. Hey, uh, so how's Jen doing these days? Sister... No, Madam Lu. <laughs> it's strange calling her that, but she values my work. Today she had me deliver the spring clothes. That's good. Uh, my prince. You see, there's a bit of history between Madame Lu and myself. What is it? You see, she and I used to disagree with each other. I accused her of terrible things. But after my father taught me well, then I knew how wrong I was. I changed my ways. Who's your father? My father's Shen Wujue, a fifth rank official. Lord Shen Wujue. Well, then you must be proud of him. He had recently solved a case that had dealt with corruption, and that meant your father being promoted to a fourth rank official. Really? I guess the news had never reached you. <gasps> That's great. Thank you for telling me, Your Highness. I will work hard for Madame Lu, and I will do my best to make her proud. Good. You better get back to work. Mm. Oh, wait! Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> she did nothing wrong? Mm -hmm. The maid who watched her said she did exactly what you told her, and she even put in a good word for you with the head maid there. So it seems that she's doing the best she can. Maybe I should utilize her skills. Mm -hmm. Let's assign her more responsibility. Mm, sure. <sighs> oh, just relax. It's a good thing that she's changed her ways. Have you seen my handkerchief anywhere? 
Yeah, when I was tidying up the beds, and since it was covered in mud, I was gonna wash it for you. No, that's fine. checked out the storeroom supplies, and I saw that a lot of the old satin there has become moldy. I had to take it out, and I reported the loss to the palace. Moldy satin can be used, or it'll be a waste. Yes, I know that too. So I already got some maids to pick out the usable ones. When they make new socks and shoes, they don't need new fabrics, and expenses can be saved. You've done well. <laughs> Only a few maids like me know how to save money. But I had to learn. It took a while to master that skill. Watch out! suddenly collapse. I checked it out. The wood stand seemed to be okay, but inside there were termites. So that's why it fell apart, right in front of us. The wood stands are really heavy. If not for B, I'd have... Well, Doctor, how's she doing? Her chest has been bruised, but her head is worse. She just woke up, though. She'll be all right. She just needs to rest a few days. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Retribution. I was stupid in the past and harmed you, and now I believe I'm being punished. Stop it. Don't say that. Let's just leave the past behind us. Please forget what happened. I'm just a lowly maid. A doctor wouldn't have seen me. They just see officials. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be all right. You're still my sister. So of course I have to look after you. Yeah? I... <laughs> I'm still your sister? Mm. We arrived here together. I'm unworthy. I'm only a maid. Why does that matter? I was a maid as well. <sighs> Listen. Let's start again. Forget our history. We'll be sisters once more. Yeah, I love that. I really would. Would you please forgive me, sister? Mm. Stop crying. Patients don't cry. You're older, so now just call me Jen. Mm. When you're better, you'll help me out in many things. So heal up fast, and I'll see you soon. Take good care of her. If she needs something, let me know. Yes, yes madam. madam. Slow. Well, it's almost done. Yes. Better? Yes. Is there pain? Not now. Thanks for your help. Oh, it's fine. Sister! I brought you what you asked for. <laughs> How come you're so lazy now? You refuse to walk up to me? I'm not lazy. I just feel weird seeing Bee there. She's being close to you, and she's acting so nice. But I'm still wary of her. 
You'd best be careful. She might stab you in the back soon. Oh, don't worry. She just risked her life to save mine. Did you forget all the terrible things she did to you? Let's try not to be petty. Many people have done bad things, but are given a second chance. Do what you want. But me, I still don't like her. <laughs> That's enough. Greetings, Greetings madam. madam. Oh. Isn't this B? Yes, I'm Shen B. You remember her? Yes, of course. I also know her father, Lord Shen Wu Dre, right? But why did you bring B here today? Oh, yes. I asked you to come to discuss the feast we're having in a few days. Your division must prepare the garments for every master in the harem. Madam Lo. I was about to ask you if there were preferences for the various masters. Well, Her Majesty isn't a big fan of the multicolored garments. His Majesty wears one garment. His outfit can't be more than one color. But his pouch must have five colors. And the other masters don't have any preferences, as far as I know. Oh. Pardon, madam. Consort Sway's birthday is the same day. Ah, oh, yes, you reminded me. You're right, her birthday is on the day of the feast. So on that day, her new outfit should be dignified. She's one of the four concubines, so make sure her colors are not too plain. Right, I'll remember. Mm. Well, I'm impressed with you. You have a good memory. I brought her with me today to help with work. She has been a great asset. <laughs> you look after your maids well. B will go far if she learns from you. <sighs> Greetings, Lady Shen. You still remember me? I thought you forgot me. Now you've moved up so high. I wouldn't dare. If you didn't make me a first rank maid, then I would still be suffering in a bad way somewhere. I don't think so. You're always hanging around Lu Jen, just like a pet dog. I doubt that you even think of me at all. Madam, you've misunderstood me. Lu Jen is my enemy. If I don't pretend to be nice with her, I would have been finished by now. Recently, she had people spy on me, but I managed to deceive them. Luckily, she's been kind to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to come and see you. Really? So tell me, what have you been up to over there? There are things I haven't done yet. But Madam, Lu Jen fully trusts me, and that means we can take advantage now. Well, I haven't thought of any plans yet. And I should keep my distance, keeping a low profile. Then tell me, madam, what do you think I should be doing for you? Get up first. Yes, madam. Be you're well informed. So help me find out what the prince has been up to. For days, I haven't seen him, and I can't visit him. Well, I have some news for you. In two days, there'll be a big feast, and I'm sure he'll be there as well. Really? <laughs> Please help me. I have no idea what dress I should wear. B said that the prince will be at the party. The prettiest girl there must be me. Miss Shen, don't think about your dress. You should think about your gift. What was that? Well, if you want the prince to notice you, you should bring him a gift. Yes, yes, yes. 
I'll give him something great to notice me. Hey, do you guys have an idea? Hmm. Maybe a new sword? Maybe I'll give him a fine horse. Miss Shen, it's quite obvious. Don't you think that you should give the prince a traditional belt? A belt? Yes, of course. If the prince ends up accepting your belt, then that means that he has returned your love for him. That's right. What a great idea. But wait, I heard I must make it myself. But I don't know how to sew. Oh, that's just symbolic. After I finish making it for you, you can add some finishing touches to it. Hmm. Listen, Madame Lou sent over many pouches for you, right? Do you think I could have one of them? No, have Don Young make one. But her skills are awful. Hey, seriously, her tigers look like sick cats. Consort Xiao has arrived. Greetings, Consort Xiao. Greetings, Your Highness. Why are you here? Do I need to have a reason? Send a message. Get one of your maids to convey it. The Empress has many spies. They might see you here. Why are you avoiding me like a disease these days? You never come to visit me. When would I ever be able to see you again? Go, go, go. Go on outside. Jen, you've told me some awful lies. You said Lu Jen hates you and that I shouldn't target her again. But my maids have informed me that you've been at Tianjing Hall. And you said, apart from me, you can't stand her. But I heard that Lady Shen has come here so she could marry you. You told me so many lies, it must tire you. I think I've told you enough times now. We will never happen. Whoever I end up with is not your concern. You're so heartless. Don't you know that hurts me? What I said before will not change. If you remain stubborn and keep on harming Lu Jen, you'll regret it. I'm not that stupid. But whatever happens, I can't ever forget you. So what do you want? I came here to tell you, from now onwards, I will use my methods to snatch you back bit by bit. Relax. I won't be harming your precious Lu Jin. I know. You won't be able to escape my clutches. Don't touch me. Are you talking about Her Majesty? I saw the past designs and noticed how colorful they were. Of course she can't stand them. That's really hard. It requires color, but can't be too bright. Mm. Yeah, I've no idea what to do. I believe she doesn't like wearing colorful outfits because she's so much older. All the concubines are much younger. They love wearing the bright colors but Her Majesty is about elegance, respect, dignity. So I think we should try to find nice fabrics using a few colors, and yet they're dulled down. <laughs> Got it, to the storeroom. Uh -huh. There, you see? 
This one, this one, and that one. These fabrics are nice and elegant. I believe we should make several unlined garments. Each color is plain. We'll layer them together. It will be dignified, but it won't look too dazzling. Mm. The Han Dynasty used this style, right? Did you see one of their old designs? <laughs> yeah, did you see it too? Well, I think it's a good design, except with five fabrics, it will be thick. How about, how about we use a lightweight silk? When she wears the outfit, it won't feel heavy. Lightweight silk? <sighs> yeah, well done. That's a great idea. <gasps> right. Ponyu, a few baskets of lychees arrived. I sent them down to Hangguang Hall. Maybe tonight we can have a taste of them. I would be honored, Your Majesty. I look forward to it. Her Majesty has arrived! Welcome, Empress Dowager! Please rise. Mother, the outfit you are wearing is simply outstanding. beauties are wearing in the yard here pale in comparison with her outfit <laughs> nonsense his majesty is here now keep quiet no she's right i agree the outfit you're wearing reminds me of something from a fairy tale i think it's magical <laughs> yes we can all see the grace of her majesty and also her unrivaled charisma while she wears this beautiful garment what we need is a new empress. And yet, I'm waiting for my son to get married soon, so our royal family can still flourish. Mother. Madam Chen, what you just said doesn't sound right to me. It sounded like you were praising Her Majesty, but really, you were just praising your division. <sighs> Madam, you're wrong. Yes, the garment might have come from my division, but it was Madame Lu who handled everything. You must give her full credit. What? Lu Jun made this outfit? It's a great design. Where is she now? I'm here. Your Majesty. Tell me, the concept behind this garment. Yes. During these festivals, it's custom to wear colored clothes, but they're usually too colorful to be worn afterwards. And that means thousands of garments are worn only once, which is quite a waste. His Majesty currently advocates thrift, and the harem should follow suit. So, I designed this new garment for you, made up of separate pieces. Each is a different color, so after festivities, they can still be worn. Well spoken. It's commendable that you've thought of the royal court. Your Majesty, it's very good fortune to have this official in our harem. You should reward her. Yes, indeed. I shall do that. Yan Fu. Yes. Mark my decree. Starting from next year, all clothes will have five layers of one color garments and not made separately. Yes. The official Madame Lu has shown us all great devotion. I now promote you to seventh rank. Uh -huh. Lu Chen, thank him. 
Thank you, Your Majesty. Long live Your Majesty. And long live the Empress Dowager. Now rise. Yes, Your Majesty. Now she's a seventh rank, Madam Chen. I don't think you need to be in charge of your division. Yes, Madam. Hmm. Lu Jen, the whole apparel division is yours now. I'll make sure not to let you down. Consort, are you all right? Don't worry. I will not get riled up by Madame Lo. I believe that. I'll see clearly. If I stand from a far distance. Excuse me. Won't be too long. I'll be back. Mm. Shen, who's the palace maid? That's Shen Bi. She's a first rank maid. These days she works with Liu Jun. Before, they were enemies. Oh, isn't that interesting? Relax. I will keep my eyes and ears open for you. No one will disturb your romantic life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on. Right. Miss Shun, why are you here? I thought I saw Prince Changguang come here. Hey, hey, hang on. You can't go up there. You see, His Highness is a... Uh... He's what? Uh, he's Just a... move aside. I really need to talk to him. He's having a pee. Yeah, he's peeing. Don't go there. <clears throat> Prince Chang Wang, he bullied me. Whoa. Leave us. Uh, Tell those outside. I'll see the flowers elsewhere. Flowers? Don't you mean? <laughs> of course. Michelle, the prince really was peeing. Yeah, he was. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, what do you need? Uh, can we talk down there? This place is a bit... <laughs> Come. Uh, uh. <laughs> right here is okay? Wait over there. Yes. Your Highness, I have something. It's a gift. Jamin, I can't accept this. Why not? Listen, Jamin, I think of you as a little sister. Give this to someone else. me why was I brought in here your sister told me that we were were going to get Jamin, you're an official now you can't say what you want to like you did in the past and you have to listen to me you cannot argue with the prince <gasps> Jamin, no you're miss Shen <laughs> hey miss Shen miss Shen Sorry, I told her not to get close, but you were talking really loud. Leave us. You're here. I am. I just saw an exciting show. I know. It's not easy for us to be alone. 
Shall we talk? Mm. Come. Please relax. You don't want people seeing you so upset. What people? Uh. Miss Shen, Consort Xiao's at the pavilion. She'd like you to join her. Consort Xiao? I don't know her. She would love to join the consort. She accepts the invite. Can you please show us the way? Follow me. Hey. I thought you said she was up here. Where is she? The view is lovely. Take time to admire it. Are you kidding me? Hey, Miss Shen, look there. Shen, just relax. I can't relax now. Of course he wouldn't take it. You see, he's fallen deep in love with Liu Jen. Miss Shen, look at the big picture here. Miss Liu Jen just got a promotion, and His Highness is captivated by her now. If you go over there, you will never get him. <gasps> going to help. Now get over it. I was really nice. I made him a bounce. He wouldn't take it. He's in love with that Lu Jen. I just want to fight her. Quiet. You can't say those things. Grow a backbone. You are an official now, and soon you'll be the princess of the empire. You can't talk about wanting to fight with someone. It isn't right. I do. Only you, Jiamin, will marry His Highness. He knows. I've already warned him. You'll be fine. But Jiamin, understand this. John is the crown prince, and that means he will have many concubines. And if you find it hard to accept that, how will you help rule? Will you have virtue? I... I... Trust me, it could destroy your life. You can't feel jealousy. Don't provoke him or anger him. Just be gentle to him. Be polite to him all the time. He'll respect you. There'll be a decree crowning you as the new princess. So there's no reason to cry like you are now. It wasn't my intention to see them earlier. The consort... The concert told me to go and admire the scenery. Yes, I know. Yuhua told me that. Jiamin, listen to me. Please stay away from the consort. Why should I? I suppose you should know this. Most officials know about her. Long ago, before she had married the emperor, she was close with His Highness. Does that mean the Prince and her? His Highness told me he's already finished with her. But she can't seem to let it go. She has tactics. In all these years, my brother has been single. I feel sorry for your brother now. Promise. You won't say a word. Don't speak about this or ask His Highness about it either. Remember, that consort Xiao shouldn't be trifled with.
I'm so sorry. I would love to announce that you're here. The prince has had a lot of wine. Unfortunately, he's quite drunk now. Really? Let me see. Huh? What? You're going in? Uh, he recently threw a bottle of wine. I'm scared that you might get hurt. Is the prince really drunk? I wouldn't lie to you. His majesty gave him strong stuff. A wine that's 30 years old. He got drunk really quickly. I think he fell asleep. He's dead now. Uh, no, 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 no. I don't mean literally. I'm bad with words. I misspoke. Please forgive me. <laughs> Your mouth will get you in trouble one day. <laughs> All right. I'll leave him be. When the prince sobers up, just tell him to come and visit me. Oh, of course. <laughs> Find the steps, princess. Be careful. Hm. I told you. Only that boy Yuan Lu can turn her back. My prince, you can avoid her right now, but not forever. You will see her. I understand. Jia Min made quite a scene. I bet my sister's angry. I think I'll wait a few days. Miss Shen is such an immature woman. She actually told her maid Fang Hua to come here to tell you to go see her. Hey, let's not talk about this now. I rejected her love. I hope once that Jia Min has calmed down, she can move on. I think that it's time. You should have an honest word with the princess. And talk to her about Miss Lu. Because, you know, the princess wants you to be betrothed to Miss Shen soon. Both live in the palace now, and they always meet up. If there's nothing official, eventually there will be a big problem. I've thought about this as well. Lu Jun's a smart woman. She knows my situation, and she knows that it's something I have to handle. <clears throat> Uncle, ever since the fire in Qingjing Hall, I decided that there's nobody else I would rather be with. <sighs> yes, I know. But Miss Lu's status... That's a problem, too. It's fine. She will not suffer by becoming a concubine. My wife has to be of noble birth. But think about Shen Jiamin. She's just one rank higher than her. So that's why you didn't object to your sister's... That's right. Sister wants me to marry Jia Min. Even though I've said no, she still insists that I make her my wife. I've thought it through. If she cares about her status, then one day, Jen gets promoted to a higher rank, my sister will be fine. Mm. Jen works hard. She's very determined. She's never going to give up. I know that soon she will succeed and people will acknowledge it. And nobody will think that she got there because of my help. She's already made it to seventh rank. It won't be long till she's higher. <laughs> I'm Shen Jamin. Greetings, consort. <sighs> Relax. Well, now I've been feeling lethargic. I can't focus. I don't seem to remember, Lady Shen, why you're here. <laughs> Consort, I just moved here and don't know all the rules, which is why I'm here now. So I should be punished. Please forgive me. Don't say that. You're the precious daughter of Duke Shen and the cousin of the princess. Mm -hmm. So why would I be displeased with you? Oh, please don't be so formal with me. Just call me your cousin. His Majesty calls me that too. I also came here to give a couple of gifts to you. I brought them here from Pingzhou. Yuha, please show them. Yes. Pingzhou makes great jade. This one here is made from nephrite. The jade pillow will help you sleep well, keeping you young. And this item might be familiar. That's the basin from Liang's Yuhua Palace. Renyang! There were three treasures in the harem. This basin of Liang was one of them. And during Liang's war, 
Prince Chen received my father's help. Afterwards, he gave this to my family. You used to be the Princess of Liang long ago. A piece from your home might just cheer you up, right? Thanks for this, Lady Shen. I'm glad it pleases you. Kansu Chao, when your maid showed me the scenery, I realized that you're concerned about my welfare. Oh? And what makes you think that? Do you also believe that I'm in love with His Highness? That's embarrassing. But let me tell you the whole truth. Before I came to this place, I had no clue what the Princess's plan was. I thought <laughs> that I was coming here to learn. Madam. So, how is it going? Like we thought, in my entire life, I've never met a dumber girl like Jamin. She gave the consort a gift that made her sad, and now she's saying she doesn't love the crown prince. She should know that I saw her trying to give him the belt she made. I'm sure she wants the princess to end Lu Jen so that she can have him. We know mistakes made by dumb people will always be our best weapon. When you're free, come and visit me. Sure. Concert Xiao, you're really nice. I bet we'll become great friends. See you soon. All the actors are now ready for their parts. Soon we will see such an amazing show. <laughs> <laughs>